You might want to make sure you have your firewood stocked up and your snowsuit ready, because the Long Valley Caldera is showing signs of erupting and plunging us into a new ice age. This pit of magma has been bubbling beneath the Earth's surface for the past thousands of years and it might be ready to make its grand entrance. You might be wondering what makes this volcano more dangerous than the rest. That's because if California were to face another volcanic eruption, it would be powerful enough to push us all into an ice age, creating not just problems for the west coast, but the world. Most people are only aware of the supervolcano that's located beneath the Yellowstone National Park. But that's not our only worry. There's another supervolcano in the US that could be ready to erupt at any time. It's called the Long Valley Caldera and it's located near Mammoth Mountain. However, this is nothing like all the other volcanoes you've seen before. The Long Valley Caldera is itself a result of an eruption of magma that occurred over 760,000 years ago. A caldera is formed when huge amounts of magma are displaced after a volcanic eruption, and it creates a huge depression in the ground. This sinking, bolt-like structure is called a caldera. So, about 760,000 years ago, an eruption released lots of magma, hot ash, lava and gas that created the Long Valley Caldera. For the past few decades, scientists and geologists have been studying this supervolcano. It wouldn't be as big of a worry if this caldera hadn't taken such a destructive form, but now it has grown more and more. Back in 1978, some scientists noticed that the Long Valley Caldera kept increasing in size, which caused a lot of concern. We already know there's a ton of magma underneath this volcano, and if it's growing, the reservoir of molten rocks will have to grow as well. When the volcano first erupted thousands of years ago, it released about 140 cubic miles of toxic material into the atmosphere. To give you an idea of how dangerous an eruption like this can be, one of the recent volcanic eruptions that occurred in 1980 was nothing compared to this. The eruption of Mount St. Helens only released 0.29 cubic miles of material. It doesn't take an expert to see that the Long Valley Caldera has the power to release 500 times that amount. On the other hand, an underwater volcanic eruption in Tonga that occurred in 2022 released 2.3 cubic miles of material. This released so much energy that it ended up being 1,000 times more powerful than a nuclear bomb. This puts a lot of things into perspective because these volcanic eruptions have the tendency to be much more destructive than we can imagine. However, these calculations were based on the early stages of this supervolcano. For a long time, geologists were having trouble determining how much magma was underneath the Long Valley Caldera. Researchers used a seismic tomography instrument to find out the estimated amount of the magma reservoir. A supercomputer from NASA was successful in taking a picture of the caldera and detecting the total amount of both solid and molten lava. There are over 240 cubic miles of molten magma and one third of it is in liquid form. Now even a small amount of material released from this type of eruption can cause a lot of damage. Just the formation and release of hot gases, lava and ash can destroy homes that are miles away. So how are we going to deal with this ticking time bomb? In your everyday life, it's quite rare that you will witness huge volcanic eruptions and deadly earthquakes. But if you take a look at the history of Long Valley, future disasters are likely to occur sooner than you think. All the experts who have been monitoring the Long Valley Caldera have shared some facts that explain how the current environmental changes are contributing toward the likely eruption. Scientists say that the Long Valley Caldera could just stay dormant for hundreds of years, but after the recent activity in California, we should be careful. Due to the increased amount of CO2 gas emissions and ground deformations, the chances of a volcanic eruption simply keep increasing. That's why the US Geological Survey team has kept a close eye on the entire region surrounding the Long Valley Caldera. This supervolcano has turned into a volatile cauldron that's simply getting more dangerous as time passes. Any geological site like this should be considered a threat because there's only so much we can do to predict these disasters. When an eruption does break out in Long Valley, depending upon its size and location, there can be a lot of damage. It all comes down to the circumstances. For example, if the supervolcano erupts during winter, the molten lava would melt all the snowpacks, creating a lot of mud flows and resulting in floods all over the country. However, the local weather doesn't play a huge factor in volcanic eruptions because if they are large enough, they're capable of changing the entire planet's climate. 
When any sort of volcanic eruption occurs, ash and hot gases are released into the atmosphere. This huge volcanic cloud filled with sulfuric acid can block the sunlight from reaching the Earth and reduce the overall temperature. So if a large-scale eruption of the Long Valley Caldera were to occur, it can change the entire climate for years to come. In the past few months, scientists have become more fearful because there have been multiple earthquakes surrounding the Long Valley area. As you know, there's a crazy amount of magma just waiting to burst out, so any sudden movement could fast forward the volcanic eruption. This attracted many geologists to study the seismic activity going on around this area. Now the main problem is that when experts are monitoring all the seismic activity, it's possible to predict an eruption. But Long Valley Caldera has made it almost impossible to make any predictions due to the large number of earthquakes that occur in the area. There's no way for scientists to predict an exact time for the eruption, but we do know for sure that the amount of magma, ash and gases that will burst out will end up blocking the sun. Alongside the change in temperature, the toxic ash and gases will fill up the atmosphere and leave no room for anyone to breathe. Now, you can imagine the biggest explosion you've ever seen and think of the extent of the damage it can do. When a volcanic eruption of this size occurs, there will be several explosions releasing hot ash that can easily destroy all the surrounding areas. When a supervolcano does explode, magma and volcanic ash will be hurled out into the sky at high speed. The airborne molten lava will turn the days into nights and the entire world will be covered in smoke and ash. You might be thinking this sounds awfully similar to what happened during the Ice Age, and we hate to break it to you, but you're right. A volcanic eruption this huge can result in blocking all light from the sun and taking over the atmosphere for days to come. Since we can't control the amount of ash, lava and gases that will be released, there's no way for us to stop what's coming our way. Back in 1815, one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions happened in Indonesia, when the Tambora volcano exploded. The volcanic cloud was so powerful that it lowered the temperature in all surrounding regions. Even after a year had passed, the cooling effects were still there. Hence, the year 1816 was referred to as the year without a summer. Geologists who have been closely monitoring the Long Valley Caldera have noticed a pattern in volcanic activity. In the past two million years, there have been a number of significant volcanic eruptions and one of them led to the creation of this caldera. However, after every 50,000 or 200,000 years, many young volcanoes have formed as a result of small level eruptions at the caldera, blowing off some steam and releasing some pressure. For example, Mammoth Mountain is a young volcano located around the Long Valley caldera, and it was formed after several eruptions. All this data simply points to the fact that there are going to be future eruptions and there's not much we can do. There's been a lot of seismic activity around the caldera and it has been experiencing earthquakes on a daily basis. So depending on the location of any future explosions, volcanic ash can end up destroying the surrounding regions. If the eruption ends up producing pyroclastic flows, which are basically hot ash flying at hundreds of miles per hour into the air, it wouldn't take long until it covers the entire stratosphere. A huge and sudden change to the climate like this can easily disrupt the entire planet and force us into another deadly era like the Ice Age.